For throughout the week, you should be thinking of ways to help out at home. Today, try to do one thing that shows that you can help out. Maybe you can help fold some laundry today. Let's discuss our two vocabulary words for today. Contribute. I contribute at home by cleaning my room. To contribute is to give something or to help someone. This little girl in this picture helps contribute by cleaning her room. Now that you're older, what are some ways that you can contribute at home? Maybe when you were younger, you weren't big enough to take out the trash. But now that you're older, you're strong enough to take it out every night. Organize. I saw the librarian organize the books on the shelves in our media center. When you organize something, you put it in a neat, tidy order. Organizing is something that I love to do. Just like the librarian is organizing the books on the shelf to be in order, I always have my students organize their supply caddy every day. They make it neat and tidy. How would you organize your closet at home? I like to organize mine by color. Let's look at our sight words for today. Today we're mainly going to be focusing on our first word, which is help. Help. I help to rake the leaves. Let's start by spelling it together. While we spell, take your finger and practice writing each letter in the air. H E L P. Now, let's practice using it in a sentence today. Take a second to think of one thing that you can do that you like to help out at home. For example, I like to help clean the dishes. Your turn. Say it out loud. I like to help. Nice job. Let's look at our story for the week. Before we start, I want you to reach your arms all the way to the sky for a good stretch. Take one big breath in and let it out. While we read our story, we are going to practice our comprehension strategy for the week. Ask and answer questions. Good readers ask and answer questions while reading to help them better understand the story. So let's look at our story today. It's called Peter's Chair. When I look at the cover, I see a boy. I wonder if he is Peter. What do you think that Peter is going to do with that chair? Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought, and they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. Do you think that Peter looks happy about his high chair being painted pink? He saw his crib and muttered, My crib! It's painted pink, too! Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted.
He picked it up and ran to his room. Where do you think Peter is taking the chair? Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. His mother came to the window and called. Won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear. But Peter got an idea. What do you think that Peter is going to do? Soon, his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. When you look at Peter's face now, how do you think he feels about painting the chair this time? Now remember, this week we're focusing on long A. Long vowel sounds are easy because the letter just says its name. So the long A sounds like A. Remember, we get the sound A by simply adding a sneaky silent E to the end of a word. Time to stand up and get some wiggles out. Let's sing our song for the week riding on a train. Hi boys and girls, I'm Brandon. I'm Ruth. And we're here to perform Riding on a Train. Here we go. Now, let's play a quick game to review our long A sound. I'm going to say a word, and if you hear the sound A in the word, like in the word tape, 
you're going to give your screen a thumbs up and say ding ding ding. If you do not hear the sound A, you're going to give your screen a thumbs down and say err. Listen carefully to each word. Your first word is tail. Remember, if you hear an A sound, put give your screen a thumbs up and say ding ding ding. If you do not, give a thumbs down and say err. The word again is tail. Ding ding ding. Next word is pat. Err. Next word is cake. Ding ding ding. Next you have frame. Ding ding ding. Next word bat. Err. Next word lake. Ding ding ding. And your last word is grape. Ding, ding, ding. That's it for today, boys and girls. See you next time.